2022 Mercedes-Benz G-Class is easily one of the most recognizable vehicles on the road today, owing to its boxy utilitarian shape that dates back to the 1970s. Styling and much of its mechanical underpinnings have roots in the original military vehicle, but its interior is definitely more Beverly Hills than Fort Bragg. The G-Class off-road abilities are just as notable as its appearance, with few SUVs that could match this mix of luxury and adventure. For 2022 the G-Class returns largely unchanged with only minor variations in color choices and a few features. Indeed, the biggest news for the legendary G-Wagon is the announcement of an all-electric EQG model, but that's not likely to debut for another year or two. In the meantime, the G-Class faces serious competition from a handful of other luxury off-roaders. These include the Land Rover Range Rover, which was just redesigned this year, along with the Defender, which gains a stout V8 engine. The Lexus LX600 is also all new, but it misses the mark in a number of ways. Hitting the G-Class against the pair of Land Rovers results in a close battle, which is why we suggest checking out our expert rating to see which premium off-roader might be the right choice for you. The G-Class relies on style and emotion, rather than planning or execution, to justify its price. There's power and authority from behind the wheel, but this SUV is a mess when it comes to ergonomics and practicality. The technology is a letdown too. Find savings on the G-Class for sale near you. How's the interior? The G-Class boxy shape results in some serious ergonomic limitations. The seats are rather high, and while there's some adjustability, the only seating position that really works is to sit tall and square. While the headroom is superb, the shorter door openings and high seat cushions mean passengers will have to duck while navigating the high step up. The step rail is too high to be very useful. While rear passenger space is reasonable, the rear door's limited range of motion creates more difficulty in getting in and out than it should. You get a commanding view of the road ahead, but the front window roof pillars are thick and upright enough to hide pedestrians waiting to cross at a stoplight. The rear view is partially obstructed by the rear mounted spare tire, and the small side mirrors don't show you a whole lot either. How's the tech? Sadly. The G-Class is stuck with the old Mercedes-Benz common infotainment system rather than the newer MBUX. It's not a bad system, but it's comparatively limited in functionality. The navigation display and commands are less sophisticated, for example, and the voice commands are finicky and limited. We also had some issues with the G-Class Advanced Driver Aids. Fuel Economy How's the fuel economy? We averaged about 13 mpg in our testing of the G550, which is below the EPA's estimate of 16 mpg in combined city-slash-highway driving for the 2022 model. This Mercedes is a very thirsty vehicle thirstier than an Escalade and on PAR with a Lamborghini Urus. Is the G-Class a good value? You have to decide why you want to buy a G-Class. Mercedes offers interiors of this caliber, along with more and newer technology, on some of its less expensive vehicles. 
which G class does recommend. The standard G550 gets our recommendation because it delivers plenty of power along with all of the luxury, presence, and capabilities that G-Wagons are famous for. Mercedes-Benz G-Class Models Mercedes offers the 2022 G-Class in standard G550 and performance-tuned AMG G63 specification.